Okay, so starting with this first slide, uh, you will see that this is actually a video. I can click on it and it's a video asset. Now, you can actually create this entire type of slide in PowerPoint. You can add black bars at the top and bottom. You can sort of format the video so it's centered. However, I did this in Canva. So let's jump over to Canva and I'll explain why. So if you're not familiar with Canva, canva.com is a great website. It's a freemium type of website where for a very basic version, you can get a lot of the functionality I will show you. I prefer using the pro version because you get access to a lot more assets and you can resize, for example, very easily. Once you create an account and log in, you will actually see a screen sort of like this. And you can go up here and you can create designs and so forth. I will show you that in just a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and click over here to all of my designs and you will actually see that I've already created a few things. Like this is that video that you see. This is actually the thumbnail that I created for this video that's a little bit different because as you can see, this one's not very appealing. So this one's much more appealing. So if I want to create something like a 1080 by 1920, I can just go up to create design here and I can say that I want to do like an Instagram story, which is 1080 by 1920, or I can just click on custom dimensions, 1080 by 1920, and click create design. It'll open this up and it'll actually give me quite a few templates to start building off of for this size of slide. I'm gonna close that out and go over to this one so you can see this is actually what I created in Canva. And you can see the video is about 9.3 se seconds because what I did is I sort of chose a template and then I went down to videos. I searched for something like dog treat and then you just kind of drag and drop the video over. As you can see here, that's a recently used video. And that's what you need to do. Then you can add certain elements over here. You can add, for example, colors, you can add little icons, you can add text if I go down here, you can change up style. This is all drag and drop, it's super easy to use, which is one reason I like to use it when I'm developing these type of short videos because I can create a lot of very nice content very quickly. In fact, you can create like a presentation and create all the slides here, export it into PowerPoint and then add some of the elements I'm going to show you. So you can see here's the example of the template that I used and then I pulled a video in to this one here and that's what I downloaded on that screen that you saw at the start of this video. So once you've created it like I said you're going to download the file so select download mp4 video of course I can export it as png, jpeg, pdf standard, pdf print all kinds of options I'm going to download it as a video. Once it is downloaded, I'm going to save it into some kind of folder where I can easily grab items. So you can see here, this is actually the video for behaviorism. And if I click on it, you will see that. And what I like to do is actually organize these based on how I'm using them in the slide deck. So for example, this will be on slide one. This will be on slide four because you can see the number four. Now when I'm first downloading them, I try to actually collect quite a few of the assets that I know that's gonna go into the script and then start building just so they're all in a folder. It's your preference, however you wanna sort of go about it. One last thing I'll just note is I keep the IDs of the videos in the file name so that I can go back. So I know this is a Pexels. I will show you that site here in a minute. Video. And I just really like having that ID there so I can go back and pay a contribution to the artist. So jumping back over to the PowerPoint, once I've created and downloaded that, what I'm going to do is just import it then. I'm going to create a new slide just to show you how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to open up the file folder and I'm going to just drag it onto the screen and then I can recenter it by dragging and dropping, or I can actually use this align feature. So this is going to be under video format and you can go to align and I can go align center and align middle. And that's going to be perfectly aligned inside of the slide. But like I said, you can just drag it until you see the lines and it snaps into place. That's another easy way to do it. Okay, so a couple of things you're going to probably want to do immediately. And this will be you know, something you will do in every video. I'm not going to show you in every video, but you will want to trim this video. So I know that in terms of words, 
you know, I have about 4.5 seconds that I can deal with here. And it actually turns out to be a lot less, uh, a little bit less than that. And uh, so I want to trim the video to sort of that. And I also don't want so much in the video, to be honest with you, because the dog's doing a lot of things. It's a nine second video, way too long. So what I can do is I can go to right click and I can see down here there's style. I can actually change some, you know, formatting of it if I want, add some frames and so forth. I rarely use those features. They're not very beautiful. You go to trim and start. So the one thing you want to do is click on trim and now you can drag these items and you can trim the video down to whatever your preferences are and you can also trim the end of the video. If you want to use two videos that are sort of spliced, well then the hack around that would be to create two separate slides and then just trim the videos you know, into the segments that you want and then have the slides transition. I'm gonna cancel that though for right now because I want to show you that you can actually go to playback up here and that item for trim video and play is going to be here as well. But I just prefer to use the right click and I'm going to click on trim. Actually, let's go ahead and see what the timing is on this one. We have it starting at 5906 and going all the way till the end there. So I'm gonna to go to here and I'm going to trim video and I'm just gonna copy that in there and then click OK. All right, looks like our video is trimmed. I can hit play. It'll show that playing. Okay, the next thing I want to make sure that I do is to establish the start and we're going to want it to start automatically. Okay, and that pretty much is all you need to know for creating this first slide. Again, just to recap, a few things I've just shown you is sort of how to create items in Canva, how to export and import these items, how to trim the videos, and how to create start automatically. Again, you can right click and use there, or you can go to playback and use in there. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this video and show you that this is that first item and it's done. Now you'll see there's two recordings here. I will show you that later on. Again, use the timestamps if you wanna to jump to adding audio.